Hello and welcome to another How To Bloke. Today is the 31st of May 2020, just in case you might be interested. Now today we're going to do, we're going to do pota potatoes in the oven. Now potatoes in the oven, well what kind of potatoes? Potato chips, homemade potato chips in the oven. No deep fat fryer, no oil except for when we're going to coat the chips. So, we're going to get cracking on this, because this is for lunch today and the time is now uh, 10 to 1, so I'm, I'm running behind now. So, okay, so potatoes, what, not waxy potatoes, not the little the small ones are used for salad. These are ones that have got to be starchy ones. So how many do you need per person? Well, they're four people, so I reckon, I reckon that, or maybe that. So we'll do that, so that's for four people. So let's cut this up. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it up like this. Now, there's three sizes of chips as far as I uh, am aware. There might be another one. But you get quarter inch, three eighths inch, and half inch. So the quarter inch ones are the ones you find in I don't know, fast, fast food places, plus the three eighths one. The half inch ones you normally find in pubs and kind of like restaurant meals, I think. Anyway, we're going to do these kind of like half inch, you'll see the size anyway. So there's the potato there, I've already sharpened the knife a bit. So we're going to cut down like that, just like that. Now if you measured that, you'd probably find that's, a, that's half inch, so we'll keep it like that, it's a good size. Just cut off that, that, black, uh, that black bit there, like that. And then we're going to slice them about that big. You don't want them any smaller than that because they're difficult. So that's what you need to do, like that. This one maybe in threes, like that, in threes like that, that's good. So that would be, that would probably be one portion wouldn't it? So we'll do some more, we're back again, uh, I've peeled a few more potatoes here. I haven't done all the ones I was going to say, but only because in, once whilst you've been gone, whilst I've been gone, I've knocked off a quick salad here with uh, chickpeas and uh, sweet corn and um, kidney beans, all from a can. So we're going to have that plus an omelette plus that, that's enough. Otherwise, chips chips are nice, I find, every now and again. You don't live on them all good every day. Uh, they're nice every now and again. Now what we're gonna do, to make these um, a better, a better flavor or better experience, eating experience, we're gonna boil these up first. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is a pan about two liters of water in there. So we're gonna put these in that pan there. Like that. And we're going to put it on the big ring and heat it up really quickly. And we'll come back to you when that's boiling. Hello, we're back. A um, bit of time travel there. So, you do that in the movies, you know, time travel. Right, so what are we doing? This, this, is, this is a potato chips in the oven recipe. And nothing fancy about it. We're going to have, uh, tonight, today for lunch, we're going to have, we've got um, a few chips just as a a nice omelette, which you haven't seen, a few chip, oven chips, and a salad like that. Okay, so that's, that's going to be the salad. The salad is tomatoes, sultanas or raisins, chickpeas, sweet corn, and um, kidney beans. All from a can, well apart from a tomato, all from a can. Um, the sultanas from a packet. Raisins from a packet. So this is really fast. You don't have to have, or necessarily, you don't have to have um, uh, green leaves and things. You can, but you know, if, if you want it fast in a can, and you can keep cans. Of course, you can knock up a salad like this. A, I call it a bean salad very quickly, and uh, it's, it's quite nice. So that's probably too much for this lunch time. We'll keep it. It'll keep in the fridge for a couple of days. Just liven it up again with a bit of olive oil and a bit of vinegar and uh, it's good for a, a two days maximum I would say. So, anyway, we're back onto this thing now. This is the, this is the, this is the feature of this video. Now this is um, uh, potatoes I've cut up into a half inch, half by half inch pieces more or less. Now what we're doing now, we're, instead of just bunging them in the oven, we're going to bring them up to the boil and the reason for that is we're going to boil off the starch. You see that, the, that white stuff on the top there? There's starts, it comes from the potato. And um, we need to get rid of that a little bit. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna this is just about to boil, is we're gonna let it boil up. We don't need to cook the potatoes so much because 
what we do is we put them in, turn the, turn the ring on and let it bring up to the boil. So it's, it's done enough cooking in there. But this is an important step, I find. I've, I've done both. I've done it with boiling and without boiling. And the ones with, with boiling, they are more evenly cooked inside. They, they have a better texture and a bit better flavour. The ones I just put um, without boiling, not, not so much. It's better to do, if you've got the time to do it, it's better just to boil them up like this first with skins on. With the skins on, like you know, don't don't the skins are good to eat as well. With the skins on, let it boil up. Just gonna cut the camera again there just for a moment. Okay, we're back again and we've got to now got a this is brought up to the boil, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's the top of it is bubbling and uh, the temperature is uh, is that's boiling basically. So we're gonna take that carefully, turn the heat off first. We're gonna take that and we're going to drain it in the sink like this, nice and carefully with hot water, it will scald you, it will hurt you do this carefully ok, so we'll put that down there we'll just do that with a give them a bit of a zhuzh I don't know whatever a zhuzh is, I don't know what it is, but this is a zhuzh ok, so we haven't made a mountain of chips, huh? can you see? we haven't made a mountain of chips, now we're going to put them on here spread them out kind of thing like that so we've got that there now the chips are hot you can't touch them with your, well you can touch them with your fingers I suppose I haven't got so uh, now what we're going to do now you could just let them just uh, stop steaming there we haven't got enough time to do that what we're going to do now is we're going to get some cooking oil a frying oil not not one not olive oil because it's got to reach a high temperature and you need some proper oil that's, that's competent, so a good quality frying oil. So what we're going to do is this. Now how many tablespoons is this, this? I don't know, two, three or something. You don't need to smother it, you can soak it, but enough. So what we're going to do is get another uh, spoon or a spatula or something. And we're going to coat each side of these chips here. Like this. Just like this. Let's do it's not all, all water and oil you can see there, it's not it's water as well, so don't worry about that. You're not swimming in oil as I say. So these chips look, I'll show you with a knife. These chips chips are not soft. Au contraire. They're not soft because look. They are they're softish, but not they still got a lot of resistance to them, so we're going to put them in for we're going to put them in for 10 minutes on the, uh, the oven on high on maximum, and check. Before we do that, we're going to go in with some salt, which we've run out of. So we have to get some chefy salt here and do the chefy salt thing. A bit more, one more for the cameras. Voila, a bit more than still, still a bit more. Okay, so. Now we're going to get some dried herbs. Now these herbs can be any herbs you like. Dried ones are best. In another video I, I talked about not putting woody herbs in an omelette or um, a, a scrambled eggs. Well you can with this, it's easy. So what you do is you just go like that. A little bit more maybe. I'll do whole, just do the pot. Need to get some more of these. Anyway, it just gives it the, the potatoes a little bit of flavour, a bit of a, it's interesting. You could put a bit of paprika on there for some colour, uh, more interest, but I, I can't be bothered. Now, what you don't want to do, you think, oh, those, those chips are not quite, quite um, covered, I missed a few over there. You, you don't want to go in there like now and go and mix the oil in because you're going to, the sensation is horrible. You've got pieces of salt and um, the, the kind of the, the herbs in it, oh, you're horrible. You've got to do it. Do it with this, like that. If you've missed a couple of chips somewhere. Okay, so this is kind of like if you were thinking think about portions, portion sizes, always kind of like measure it out. So you need four people, okay? So, oh, I don't know if I've done enough chips. Well, you can easily find out by going like that, imagining them to be on a plate like that. So, okay, so yeah. On a plate, that's good, isn't it? One, two, three, four, four plates, job done. So we can move them back in. 
do they have to be touching? Then do out. Do they cook better if they're kind of spaced out like that, not touching so much, not joined together if you like, because then that bit doesn't cook in between. So just separate them as best you can. You don't have to fuss and fiddle with it, but there we are. Okay, so we're going to put these in here. This tray's not hot yet, it hasn't been in the oven. Okay, so we're going to put this in. This is grease proof paper, by the way. What we're going to do is put this, these chips, you don't have to have the grease proof paper, but what happens is, is that th those will stick on there. And so this is good for cleaning and serving. Easy to get off with a spatula. So we're going to put these in here. On the maximum, 250 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. And we'll stop the camera now and come back when the when 10 minutes is up. Back again. Uh, I, I had a look at 10 minutes, they weren't quite done. Um, I didn't put the oven on hot enough. Um, and I'm making excuses now. But what I've done is I've put it on for an extra five minutes. And normally they would be right in, in, in 10 minutes. Depends how, how thinly you, this is cutting, how thinly you cut the chips and so on. But anyway, I'm confident. I just had a look through the door, the glass door, and they're good. So if you just hang around and have a look, and see what they're like when they come out of the oven. Now, do you see that? Use the oven gloves, of course. Oh, so here's a point. Here's a point to, to mention. If you're finding that even with wear, wearing oven gloves, that they're, it's hot to the touch for some reason. You know, why is this so hot? It's because it's, they're wet. And the water conducts the heat quicker than something that's dry air, in other words. So always make sure that your glove, or if you've got a cloth like this, for example. Now this is cloth, I use this often to go there. Look, it's, look, some of that is wet, so if you get hold of that with the wet part of the cloth, it's gonna, it's, the heat's going to come through quicker than using a dry cloth. So that's a, a tip there. So, get rid of that. Apparently it's no good for the camera shot. So, what are we left with here? Well, these are the potatoes I've done. Look how easy, they don't stick to the bottom at all. Now, if that had, had I not had these, this paper, that would have been a stack mode, no doubt. So, so, oh, they can, oh, can you smell that? They're superb. These are homemade chips, you can smell the flavour. Okay, so, oh, they're done. Well, open one up, see what this looks like. So what we're going to do, we will try any one. This one here would be different, right, fine. Yeah. Uh, there we are, that's what it looks like inside. See, so stop this soft. Look, see how soft that is? It's, it's soft. That's done. Now, if you want more colour, this, I think, really, for a rustic chip, this is, oven chip, this is great. If you want more colour, don't forget, if you cook them more, they're going to get harder. Now, I pref personally prefer something that's a little paler and softer than something that's, that's hard, like a, chewing a stick, because that's what will happen if you put them in there for another five minutes, making a total of 20 minutes cooking time, you can, but they're going to be, they're, they're going to lose the, the, the water inside them, they're going to be harder, and, and uh, if you've got, if you got <laughs> haven't got many teeth, or you wear dentures or something, you're going to have trouble. So, for grandma and grandpa, keep them soft. That's what I say. Now, for this recipe, this is just kind of like, this is not main course chips, or is it such a thing, I don't know. But this, this is going to go with this. I've knocked this up. Uh, just uh, a few moments ago. This is kind of an omelette omelet thing with, uh, with chicken that I picked from this morning. Uh, had a, we had a chicken recently, a roast chicken, so I picked all the, the meat off of that that we didn't use and bunged it in there with some mushrooms and uh, onion. And this is the salad I told you about. So we're going to serve this up. This is a portion. This is a portion for my son. He eats like a horse a day if not two. So that's going to keep him going until about four o'clock or maybe half past four. Anyway, let's put, take this to the table. Uh, I'm going to have, well, I'm going to have some lunch now so if you can, um, if you can uh, do these chips they're, they're, they're great accompaniment to uh, something you cook up quickly for lunch. You've got potatoes, you like potatoes don't cook them every day, probably not that healthy for you, but once in a while, once a week or something, it's great. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, and um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you next time.